Hey, it's Pierre. Uh, I got a treat today. Uh, one of the most requested reviews that I get is for eye rackets. These are used by uh, Amr Shabana and Borja Golan. And uh, the uh, Sam at eye rackets in the UK was kind enough to send me these to try out. Um, so let me uh, take you through them. We've got the we've got two rackets here. The X Light. 120 control, this one is called, and its partner in crime, the x 120 power. So, the 120 control is what Shabana and Golan use. The 120 power is very similar, and I'll take you through some of the differences in a second. Um, cool cosmetics, you got kind of a purple and black uh, styling, um, and the, uh, the 120 control at the moment has the Shibana, it says four time world champion, and it's got Shibana's signature on it. Um, these are the same shape, uh, same head shape, sort of this, this classic closed throat shape. Um, the main difference between these two rackets is the stringing pattern. The control has uh, more strings. Uh, let's see, um, I don't remember off the top of my head what they are. Ha, and it's not written on there. But um, the control has, uh, is, has a denser string bed and the power has a more open, um, as a more open one. So basically, when you, you know, the sort of trampoline effect on this racket is gonna be a little bit less. Uh, you got more strings, it's gonna bounce back quicker, it's gonna be more stable, and, uh, and with the power one, you're gonna get sort of a more, a more springy feel, and also, they say it should give you more grip on the ball. The ball kind of nestles into those strings and you know, allows you to get more, more cut on it. And it also makes it a teensy bit head lighter just because there's less string, but they're basically both, uh, they're, they're, they're both the same frame weight, which is 120 grams, um, which is very light. I'll get to that in the, in the balance in a second. Uh, one thing that's interesting is the grommets. There are, or not the grommets, I should say. There are grommets, but there are no, there's no bumper. Um, this is a, this is, well, you know how there's a normal bumper on the top of every squash racket? It's a plastic piece uh, that the, the strings go through, uh, sort of sticks through. Um, these little grommets and then the strings feed through that. Well, on the eye rackets, they are just these little, they call them eyelets. So they don't stick out and cover the, um, the bumper. And in part, it does a couple of things. Um, number one, it take some weight off the racket. Um, and I, I's philosophy is that the bumper guards, like a lot of pros just take them off anyway. Um, they prefer to, to strip them off. So their philosophy is that it doesn't actually provide all that much protection. Um, they, their, so their research has found basically that most breaks on, on rackets don't happen at the top where the bumper guard is, you know, they happen elsewhere on the frame. So their point is it's not really serving much useful purpose and it's just adding extra weight to the frame um, and making it sort of that much harder to sort of scrape a ball off the wall, I, I think. One, one of the nice things about these rackets is you can really, you know, you can, <laughs> you just get that, that little bit much more control on, the, on those balls that are tight to the wall. You can really kind of carve in there a little bit better. Um, right, so the weight and the balance. There are 120 grams and the biggest change for me 
trying to play with these rackets was they were they were very light and and I'm used to this is kind of my regular racket the Stunlop frame that I always reference and this is only 130 grams so it's sort of medium but and it's you know this is kind of evenly balanced maybe maybe headlight it says I, I sort of think of it as evenly balanced but it's still the head has a little bit of you know heft to it still even though it's a medium uh, you know medium weight racket and it it gives you a little bit of kind of like guardrails you know as you're swinging it gives you um, it, it, it kind of helps you carve out a path and when I first started using these eye rackets I it was an it was a big adjustment uh, at first because it doesn't it's a it's an evenly but they're both evenly balanced rackets and so and they're very light and so it's almost like it's not there you really have to give it your you really have to to carve out the shot yourself and and be confident in your swings and it kind of caused me a little bit of a, a kind of crisis of confidence when I was I took it out in one of my league matches and kind of midway through I thought ah I'm just not I'm not feeling it exactly so I went back to this to my my usual racket but what was funny is after the match um, it's a guy I normally beat and I mean excuse me a guy who normally beats me but I won the first game and when I was using this I racket and I lost the second and then went on to lose the third and the fourth one after I had switched. And he said, you know, after the match he said, you know, because one of the things about this racket is because it's light and very maneuverable, you can wait until the last second to take your shot. You don't need to, have, to get it started on the path. It's, it's light enough that you can just wait and wait and wait and then take a full satisfying swing right at the last second. Um, as long as you're in good position and you have your technique is there and you're not kind of just twisting and turning, or even if you are, you know, you can get something on it with very little wind up. And after the match, my opponent was, said to me, you know, in the first game and a half, I couldn't read you. You were holding the ball well and moving me everywhere and I just couldn't get a read on you. You should have kept doing that. So, after, so I, it was after I had already switched, you know, to my old way of just kind of up and down the walls, which he just gobbled up, basically, that I realized that, um, you know, kind of what was possible and in, in this racket and something that I really haven't tried to develop in my game. So, um, so I'm giving this, uh, a, um, I'm giving this uh, a lot of extra, you know, I'm taking my, taking my time to get used to this and, and really try to get to know it because I think that there's, although it takes some commitment if you're used to a certain kind of racket, it, it gives you certain advantages. I mean, if you're a kind of player that likes to hold the ball and use deception, this is great. Um, you're gonna probably pick this up and be able to whip it around right off the get-go. And if you're somebody who wants to add that element to your game, this is a very interesting racket to check out. Um, between the two, I much preferred the control version. Um, the power, I guess, you know, it's, the theory is that it's going to give you more bite because of the open stringy pattern. But I just, I felt, I just felt much more comfortable with the denser pattern. And I don't know if that's just, you know, it's a, maybe that's just what I'm used to, um, but, uh, but that, that, that gave me more comfort. Now, if, you, if you're looking at a more, if you're interested in a more open string pattern, you might like the power version, or if you're just looking for a little extra pop uh, on your shots, you might want to give this, give the power one a try. It's the same, it's the same shape, again, uh, it's just a different stringy pattern. Now, this is actually strong with um, eyes, string and I don't remember the name of it but it's it's kind of um, I'll put it in on the blog in, in the post but um, with a link but it's it's meant you know it's meant to compare to uh, the technofiber green string the 1.1 1 .1. Um, and I thought it was really nice uh, this string I feel like there's a ton of 
of touching this. I have this the Technofiber 1.1 in my other racket, and it felt it did feel very similar, and it, there it felt v like there was a ton of touch in this, um, and that was and that was great. I kind of like right out of the right out of the gate, I was feeling that um, the adjustment for me was more just on a regular, you know, up and down the rails. Um, that was my learning curve. Um, I this is this is also I string. Um, this is their I think 1.25 uh, X Tech is the name of the string. It just came to me, also because it's written on the string. Um, and uh, so this is what they recommend that this string be used in the power rackets because of the open pattern. It c it can tend to um, the string can tend to break a little bit more. So this is a this string is a bit tougher. Uh, the um, the the 1.2 X Tech uh, is um, they, they recommend for the control racket just because of the, the denser pattern allows it. It's a little it's not as strong it's not as uh, not quite as durable. So um, so they don't recommend it for this, but they do recommend it for the uh, control racket. Um, so. The I, oh, one more thing about the design. I don't know if you can tell this on the camera, especially not when I don't line them up right. One of them is a matte black, and one of them is uh, uh, the more glossy black. The glossy one is the power version, and the, um, the matte is the control version, and they have across their whole range. They have um, they use that convention so that you can uh, you can tell them apart. Right. So the uh, the X Lite 120 control Shibana and Golan, and the X Lite 120 power. All right. Thanks for checking it out. Mm -hmm.